Hello, I just wanted to share a quick tip I discovered. Whenever you have number fields in your drawing program or whatever else art program you have, you can like input a number. So like I can put 500 and the drawing moves, I can put like a thousand and the drawing is in another place. But fun thing, you can actually do math operations so like a thousand plus 200 does 1200. It works with multiplications too, so like you can do 50 times 4, and for example, times 8, and times maybe 15, and it works too. That's cool. Okay, so here you've got a logo of mine I made, and when doing it, I had those meridians over here, and I had to align them, like to make the right one and the left one be at the same distance from the middle. So my image is currently 1024 by 1024. So the middle is at 512. So for example, let's take the right meridian over here. It's currently aligned at 612 on the right. So for example, if I had this other meridian which wasn't aligned yet, well, first off, I'm gonna align it at 512 vertically, and then I'm gonna do some math. So 512, it's in the middle. Then I subtract 612, so I have the number, the difference, and it's minus 100. Then I realign it, and bam. And actually, this trick works in many programs. So for example, now we're in Blender, and I'm going to try to scale the cube. So for example, if I want to scale it on the y-axis, I want to scale it to 3, let's say. Now we scale it to 3. And let's say I want to do 3 plus 2. Now it's to 5. Maybe I want to do 3 plus 2 divided by 6. Now we're at 3.333. And now I'm in Adobe InDesign and I'm just going to make a blue square. And if I use the select tool and I move it, you can see we have the X and Y values which are moving over here. And so if I, for example, do 10 plus 15, and I type enter, we've got 25. And again, it also works with multiplication. So 20 times 2 equals 40. And the square just moved. So yeah, as you can see, it works in a variety of programs, from drawing programs to 3D programs to even design programs. It even works in Photoshop, I'm sure, but I don't have the app. So yeah, that's it. Bye.